friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica, and I am so excited that you are joining us in our inventions, inventors, and engineering week as we put on our maker hats and we have a lot of fun. You can always support our science at patreon.com slash rosyresearch. It's as low as you go per week, however it works for you and your budget, and it gets you all of our printouts. And as we do some Tinkercad programming, it also gets you printouts of our Tinkercad, which is a lot of fun. Um, this unit we are doing all about famous inventors and we're going to make our own inventions as we go. And the one that we're working on today is Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was a massive engineer and inventor. He's got over 200 patents to his name. And a patent is sort of like a little certificate that tells you, I actually came up with this idea, it's my idea, this is what it looks like and this is how it works. And he did that 200 times from creating things that we still sometimes have in our houses, like incandescent light bulbs. So the light bulbs before all of the LED light bulbs came out, those were all started up by Thomas Edison. He also worked on electronic voting machines on how to record yes and no votes. And he really worked hard on our communication systems. Back then we had telegraphs that would send messages across long distances, and he did a lot to improve those telegraphs and even trying to make chemical telegraphs instead of electrical telegraphs. Now, Thomas Edison was really big about serving people. He really thought that we need to try to help others with whatever we invent. He also really thought that all you need to be an inventor or an engineer is a great imagination and a pile of junk. So today, we are going to honor Thomas Edison by creating something fun and something that you think will help our world or help people do something that they need help with, that maybe they don't know they need yet. That's always helpful. Um, so on our handout, it has the stuff you need, which is not too much for this whole unit. You need your recycling bin. You need some building materials. I have my trusty hot glue gun. I've got some tape. I have scissors. Of course, my fabulous pen so that we can draw our ideas because all engineers and all inventors draw their ideas. And this helps us communicate our ideas so that if I'm trying to get help from somebody else or I'm trying to get somebody else to think about ways to improve my project, they can fully understand it. And actually on the back of your printout, you have a place to draw your idea. And ideally, we can make this look like a patent. I have the patent for Thomas Edison here. And you can see it's got some very beautiful drawings. And there's all these little tiny things that will have labels. So they label their drawings too. So on the back, we are gonna draw what we're gonna make. Now you're gonna make something different because this is for everybody's gonna make their own thing. I'm actually gonna turn my page sideways because I was thinking about what would I do to service others? What kind of invention could I make that would really be helpful for others? And I was thinking how all the time, oh, my pen is gone, how all the time my, um, me and my kids, we always walk to the beach. So I was thinking how great it would be if I could do something about beaches. Now, this could be great if I can figure out a way to help our beaches. So to think about that, I thought about what is the one thing that we always have problems with on our beaches? And it got me to thinking of Georgia. So here's my beach. Georgia always gets a little sad because she sees a whole bunch of trash on the beach. That's my trash right there on the beach. And she does not like seeing the trash on the beach. She's not a fan of that, which I can understand. And I thought, hmm, how can I somehow pick up all this trash while still having fun? So I thought it would actually be kind of cool if I could make sort of like a can or a ball that I could put the sand in here. So this is gonna be like unsifted sand. And I'm gonna label it so that I can help explain this stuff to other people. Sand. So I have my unsifted sand that has trash. So this is gonna be my trash, like that. And I'm thinking if I put a whole bunch of holes in here, and maybe do the holes maybe in blue so that we can know the difference between the trash and the holes. If I put holes in this bottle, the idea is that the sand could go out, so these are gonna be holes, that the sand could go out and the trash would stay in. 
And then I'm thinking, well, what would make this more fun? What if I had all these extra attachments you could add here? Like if you had a dog, you could have like a rope and your dog, you could throw it for your dog and he could bring it back. And all that time it's moving around and we're sifting our sand through these tiny holes and the trash will stay in there. So I kind of like this idea that I could add something to it. I do think I have to get my sand in somehow. So I'm thinking maybe I'll cut it so that this will be like the top part and this will be the bottom part. And this sort of opens so that I can add sand to add unfiltered sand. And labeling is really important because it helps, again, communicate to other people what you're doing. It helps you remember what you're doing. All right. So this is going to be my plan. I want it to open and close. I want some holes that sand can get through but leave the trash inside and maybe some sort of fun attachments. So these will be my fun attachments. I'm sort of getting this idea a little bit from um, there's a soccer ball actually that they have in Africa a lot of countries in Africa that as you kick the soccer ball, it actually takes the jostling and that movement and it turns it into electricity and stores it in a battery. And it's really cool because then those kids that have that soccer ball can use that little battery to maybe power a tiny little LED light at night. And so they're playing with it during the day, they're not really noticing they're doing something and they get something great at the end. So I'm kind of taking that idea and I'm gonna apply it to our beach so that we can make this fun thing. So now that I have this great drawing, now I can start. Now we're gonna make a prototype. And a prototype is just a first go. It doesn't have to be exactly what we're hoping for. It just needs to be something that can get our idea across and maybe get the interest of someone else who might have more money or more power that they can really push this idea and make it even better. All right, so I'm thinking the first thing I'm gonna do I want to make my piece. Here's going to be my bottle, and I'm going to make, I'm going to cut it, because remember I wanted that opening, although I might just cut it part way so that I can have a hinge. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I had not thought about that. Now I have a slit started, and I can kind of come over here like this. Now, whenever you cut plastic or metal, just be really careful because it can obviously hurt you. All right, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna leave it like this where it has a hinge that it opens and closes. I kind of like that. So now my plan was gonna be to put the unfiltered sand in here. We would close it and then it kind of shakes around and it would then filter out my sand. So I need to make some holes in here. One thing I could do if I find holes are tricky Maybe I could just do a whole bunch of slits. A whole bunch of slits might work really well. So I'm gonna try that, I think, instead of just holes. I think I might be able to get the job done a little easier and a little faster if I just cut a whole bunch of slits all over my bottle. And they can be in all different sizes, and this, as it moves, these slits, ooh, they'll open just a little bit to let the sand out as I'm playing with it. I really like that. I'm gonna take off that label. I think it's just gonna get in my way. All right, so I just need a whole bunch of slits. I do have to be careful because these slits might sort of ruin the integrity of my bottle. And I could put them at even at different angles if I wanted to. I just gotta be really careful about not cutting chunks off that I don't wanna cut off. as happy to bend for me. So I'm just going to leave that. Now I have a whole bunch of these slits and the idea will be that as I close this, I can put my sand, I can scoop it in. Ooh, I can just scoop it up like that. That's kind of nice. I don't even need an extra thing to scoop it. I need something that's going to close this. Now I could just use a piece of tape for now. 
I'm wondering if I want like a little latch system that I could like tie some twine around. So maybe I could cut something out with my awesome recycling bin. I'm gonna use this because these have some great bumps. You can put a bump on the top and a bump on the bottom maybe. And that could maybe somehow help me do what I want. Especially if I put like a little sort of snip in here. I think then I could tie my string. I could take a piece of string. It could be like almost like an anchor. See that? Oh, that looks nice. So I could do something like this. I think I'm gonna go this way on here and then I'll go up like that. So I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna get it nice and sturdy. So this is not very sturdy the way it is. I'm gonna fill it with some glue. I need a new glue stick. We'll add that right in. And then I can just put this, I'm gonna put it so that it's sort of like a cleat, so that this part hangs down and I want it to be opposite of where I open. So this part will hang down. I sort of have a little cleat action there that I can tie it shut. And that also makes it so that this is like a nice big slit too, so that my opening is now also acting as part of that sieve, part of that way to filter my sands. This is nice too, because you don't have to touch all the sand. You can just dump it right back into, um, the sand will naturally dump onto the beach and then I can dump the trash part into the trash can, which is kind of nice. So I'm just gonna make my top cleat like this. Oops, I just cut it off. Let's cut a new one. Sometimes that happens with our creations. And I am really excited to see what you guys create and how it's going to impact the world or people somehow for the better. It's always our goal as scientists to sort of make things better. Leave everything better than what it was when we got there. And I'm gonna make this a little bit stronger with just some glue in here and then I will glue to this edge like that. And then I have this like sort of little cleat idea so it'll open, it'll close, and I can tie this with some string. I could grab some string from my building bin. And there we go. That is going to be my thing. Now I need a name for it. I don't know. Maybe like a sand cleaner, the sand vacuum, or maybe like the trash toy. Maybe like a trash toy. It's also made from recycled materials. It's got so many bonuses. I really, really like this. I'm really excited, especially because we can throw it around, we can play games with it. And if I wanted to, in the future, I could engineer things that fit onto this side of the cap that would make this so that you could always just change it. I could put rope up here. Maybe I put a stick for something that likes a stick. There's all sorts of things I could put. If I put a ball, that could be funny. It could just like bounce really awkwardly and that could be fun to chase around. So. This is my creation to service others. We're gonna clean up the beach and clean some sand, which I think will be great. Super excited to see what you make. And I'm hoping that you had a lot of fun. Make sure that you draw your picture, you label your picture. Think about the things that we can do to improve it even as we're going. It's always a really important thing for engineers and inventors. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure you join us again because we have five awesome engineering and inventing projects as we go through this unit. I hope you guys have a good time and we'll see you soon. Bye friends.